Do you ever open your closet and think, why did I buy that? I definitely have a lot, but not since shopping with Quint. I see fewer misses and a lot more hits that I'll be wearing season after season. Quince has all the seasonal must-haves, like 100% European linen shirts from 30 bucks, performance polos, and versatile activewear. The best part of all, Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. By partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts out the cost of all the middlemen and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabric and finishes. I really like that. I just got two shirts. I ordered a third. It's coming in a week. I got two shirts. I just got them a couple days ago. The quality is unmatchable. I love them. They feel great. They fit great. That's why you gotta shop at Quince. Fill your closet with timeless pieces that you'll be wearing for summers to come with Quince. Go to Quince.com forward slash Bubba for free shipping on your order and a 365 day return policy. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com forward slash Bubba to get free shipping on your order and again the 365 day return policy quince.com forward slash bubba Welcome to Operation Pigmentation. Holy shit. Uh, We were supposed to start this podcast 26 minutes ago. Uh, Bubba was here. He introduced himself to Craig, Rio, and Lat, who also is known as Lance. Uh, Bubba called him Urkel, which I just thought was was way too far. Too far. But Bubba- Way too far. Bubba fucking hooked you guys up. What did Bubba, (laughs) you know- the, the legal stuff. What did Bubba hook you guys up with just now? He gave us a lot of medication. A lot of medication? A lot of medication. What else did you get? You got you got to talk into the microphone. Oh, man, I got a lot of medication. <clears throat> I got Bubba swag. I am officially a part of Bubba Army. There's a new chapter. South St. Pete is rising again. How does it feel to be here? How, like, What do you think about the studio? Long and time coming. I feel like I'm at home, like I'm behind the barber chair. Rio, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You look chill as fuck, man. Yes, sir. You talking into that microphone? I think so. Get all, get, get, right get, get, get right in front of him. Got to get right in front of him. Yeah, there you go. Put it, right in my mouth. I'll tell you what, you guys are making fun of Lance, but he is right in the microphone the best the right now. the microphone ready. There you go. He looked like he sounded like a like rapper. He's supposed to like, be here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm th- always supposed to be here. Yeah, he's supposed yeah. to be here. I know. <laughs> be where he at. I know. Here. I know he's a family man, so it's nice that he made the time to come today. But I don't think he's going to be here every single week with you, motherfuckers. No, no, no I'm not going to be able to make it every time. All right, so I want to introduce you guys. You guys were on the show yesterday. We talked to you guys on our podcast. I, did you, you know what did you guys think about talking to Bubba for the first time? I think that was a great necessary conversation. Because you said you found out what? You found out Bubba called me a fuck boy. I was down at the barbershop on Saturday. Yeah, and we had a problem with yeah, that. Yeah, we ain't like that. Yeah, and I appreciated that. I was like, wow, these guys are really, you know, stepping up to support me. And it's then fine. Bubba explained it. And what? Because I, because it takes me a little while to pop my hood. I'm a fuck a boy. A little while. They well, said you couldn't pop you your could hood. I pop can. Your I just, it's, <laughs> yeah, I can't. it's a jangly mechanism that I have to find. Like you have Always to really, rigged. You got to find the sweet spot. It's a Ford, man. You know, I mean, really? like. Really? That sound like excuses, bro. It's not, scre- yeah. it's not. Well, what about the tire changing thing? Can you change a tire? I can, um, I can change a tire. The or tough. Do you call. The well, people. Well, I mean, if I was down Roadside. near, I mean, if I, I don't, I mean, I would call a friend. I don't have AAA or anything like that. The toughest thing for me is where you put it. What is it? The uh, the jack where you lift the car up because you got to make sure that it doesn't go straight through the bottom of the car. What? You know what I'm talking about? How do you know that part before you can even really technically no. even okay. do it? Well, you got first of all, you do that. You take the tire off. You take the screws off. Blah blah blah. You take the tire off. Boom. You put the screws. Up. What, what are they? The lug, the lug nuts? nuts? Okay, yeah. All right. Well, okay, nuts. let's skip past that. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, let's, let's get to this other. Uh, what about the firearm? The firearm? Have you shot in the firearm? I have shot a shotgun. One time, two that times, it several doesn't, times. I went, I went shooting, and then no handguns. That don't count. I went one time to get my permit, uh, you know, to you know legally carry or whatever the fuck it is, or to have a gun in Florida. Mm-hmm. And I passed that class, but I never took the certificate to like the state of Florida to get like <laughs> cashed in. Okay, so you don't have a license to carry. No. So, but I mean, never you don't need shot, one when you're in the fucking you hood, ever right? Shot a handgun. You don't need one when you're in America. Thank you. 
you just need to shoot one. Shoot no, one. man, yeah. you need one. You got to have a license. You got to have a license, and you need a firearm in America. Okay, so I need a firearm, or you just want to show me how to operate one? You need to know how to operate well, we, one. We're going and, to the range. Yeah, we're going to the range. Okay, yeah. where is the range? Do you guys know? Is there oh, one in like- We're going yeah. to frequent. We're going to go to the In the, the backyard. Range. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, <laughs> it might have to be in the backyard. I, I yeah, don't know. But Seth, we have a lot of things that we're going to do till we get your name to Seth Money. Okay. Oh, do you have yeah. any anything else that's on the list other than going shooting right now, or um, we're working on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We're gonna make a longer list. Have you been fishing? No, like what? No. With a cane pole? Never. Or anything? No, never. Have you eaten mullet? Have you eaten a fried mullet? I've had. I think I've had fried catfish. Is that close enough? No. no. All what, right. Was it salt water? Or fresh I don't water? fucking. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Do you eat blue crabs? I don't. Uh, no. Yep. We got a little work. We have a little work to do. I knew, you know, I'm just afraid of a lot of food, though. I mean, I th- think, do they sell blue crab oh. on the side of the road? No. No. On the side of the road? <laughs> okay, I thought depends I saw something. Depends, on, depends on where you're at, thought, to tell you the truth. I would strongly <laughs> advise you not to buy those. I thought I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Or I w- eat them. I got to get Rio out of this whole fucking sexy Barry White thing that he's doing all of a sudden. Hey, man, I'm not doing no, man, I'm stoned. You, I know you're stoned. Yeah, stone. we're stoned. I know man. you're stoned. My phone man. is like I, right here. I know you're stoned, but you got. We're, we got yeah, I was, he, want, he wants you to talk regular. Listen, you can talk regular talking in front regular. of him. All right, you're good. All right, Rio. Yes. You just got out of jail, right? Yeah. We talked about this. This is how you said that you were listening to Bubba. Everybody was listening to Bubba. What's the name of the cell block again? I was in 6C1. 6C1. All in right. Central. What were you in? What were you in jail for? Oh, it was a violation of probation. Well, he, he robbed my, the bank. On my DUI. DUI. How did you. How did you you, can we talk about the violation of probation? I don't know what it is, actually. Definitely a setup. Thing. It's a setup. It's a setup. <laughs> yeah, but it's a ploy really just for the state of Florida to get some more money out your ass. How much did they get out of you for this one? Well, everybody, anybody that's ever had a DUI, they know you're going to get at least $10,000. You're over 10. It. Oh, shit. Easily. And how yeah. long were you in jail for? Too long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> it was 40 days. 40 days? Okay. And you said you watched the days and forty nights. <laughs> you said you watched the Super Bowl in there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> How was that? I mean, Not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was as good as you can be when you ain't got no pussy. <laughs> you can't smoke no weed, no liquor. Yeah. There's eighty other dicks in there with you. Yeah. And yeah. a guard. And, and y'all making and you a, gotta you're making listen a goulash. To this shit. You're watching one TV and you gotta listen to it on your headphones. Which your little tablet that they give everybody. You couldn't get weed in there at all? No, they give you a tablet. I don't want to smoke anything that they get in there. Really? <laughs> it's that bad. I mean, <laughs> it's that bad? I give you that. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, man. there's nothing You got to think Bob about the process of how it got there. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> it would have to be experimental or something. So yeah. you you did 40 days. Uh, Craig, I know that you you had a stint before, right? Yeah, I haven't been locked up. Before. All right. And we're not, we're not, now, obviously, Lance has not been locked up. So, I mean, that's why we're leaving him out of this part of the interview is because, you know, he has Appreciate not. It. Are, Appreciate are, it. Appreciate it. Are you stereotyping <laughs> me in Rio? Uh, you're, whoa, why? You're all black, right? Okay, well, yeah, but I'm talking about I'm the jail thing. <laughs> I'm not black. No, I'm not stereotyping. I'm, I'm honing in on you guys going to jail because. Are you trying to say that me and Rio are something like. Criminals or something? Well, I, th- I mean, I think, but you, you are. I mean, right? I went to jail. Oh, I, I, well, well, technically, on. the state of Florida kind of, you know. Okay, but once I've paid my dependence, what is yeah, it? Now I'm not a criminal. I am a licensed professional barber. Yes, absolutely. Licensed by the state of Florida. Business owner. Business owner. Southside Pillar Saint of Pete the community. Advocate. Hey, let me say that again. Criminal. Southside <laughs> Saint Pete. Advocate slash criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're filling out a job application and you mean if they say, "Hey, are you cool with the background check?" What do you What do you check? What are you checking? Are they checking to see if you've been locked up? They're gonna know that. Yeah, they're gonna know that when they see me. So is that just by your appearance, or I assume that all white people assume that all black people have been to jail? Really? For real? Oh no. Yeah. You can tell by the way you guys look at us. Well, now I will hold on. I don't want to get lumped in with just regular white people all of a sudden. You're all right, Jewish, oh, so that's what? a whole other thing. What? Not even the white people. I mean, it's even the white people that want to be black. Yeah, <laughs> the cool white people. The they, cool white. They people. all assume that we've all been to prison. 
And there's nothing cool about that. No, no. And Craig, what did you? What were you, you in for? You went for something very serious. <laughs> I was serious. in there for drugs. Right. I, I was. You know, I had a drug issue. But I'm gonna tell you. I mean, to be honest with you, I I used that to to better myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I actually used that as a stepping stone. I didn't. I don't see. I didn't take. You were a addicted loss. to opi- op- opioids, yeah, right? Yeah, I was. I was a well, boy. You, you got some? Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> I don't want any. I'm just <laughs> oh, fucking man. around. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But man, those I fucked was, you up, man. That yeah, fucked your life they up. They fucked me up for a long time, bro. I mean, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Uh, to be honest with you, if anybody, if you're struggling, man, go get some help, bro. Get some help, yeah, yeah. Get, get some help. Speak help, to somebody. Help. Keep it real. What What was the lowest point for you, Craig? The lowest point was when I was in. Recovery in a facility taking care of, you know, doing work release pretty much. And we had a visiting speaker come in. And the visiting speaker said that he was so strung out on whatever drug of choice he was on that he sucked the dick. (laughs) Oh, my God. And that was the lowest moment for you? Okay, because at that moment, I knew that I never in my life ever crossed my mind to... To do anything of the sort for right. drugs, so I thought being in the room with him was beneath, was the, you. Was beneath me. Yeah. Interesting, straight yeah. up, and I then I had to bubble from that. Wow, I was not going to. So that means there was other depths of, of addiction. addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to find out. I know that's right. Now, Craig, right. we 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 love our weed. So how did you venture from the weed into the opioids? Weed has no feeling. Of the sort of the opioids, they yeah. have no. I, 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 I'm just to me, they have no grip physically as an opioid. Weed has no grip on you. No, no. I don't know about that, man. Some people got to wake and bake. Some people may have <laughs> they to wake and got bake, to, but, but they can't I function think, without it. I don't think after five it's days, a, it's that a such thing be as a weed head junkie shitting. But I don't think if they quit that they would be shaking, shitting. Oh, yeah, yeah, up. yeah. No, not no, physical, no. Not a physical addiction. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I get I, you, yeah. But other than that, don't get me wrong. I understand the wake and bake thing, but. Well, Craig, what got, I'm saying like I, I, they're not in the same category at, at all. But how did you get to the point where you were like, would you say you were strung out on opi- opioids? I would say when everybody. And what I'm going to tell you, honestly, I looked at like Lestat from Interview with a Vampire. You remember that? Yeah, that absolutely. Movie? Yeah, remember how Tom Cruise them look? Yeah, they was all gray looking and moist and damp and shit. Yeah, <laughs> like a vampire. Come on, man. <laughs> damp. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, man. You know what I'm saying? I was fucked up. And all you look the way at, real. Yeah, when you couldn't look at yourself in the mirror and everybody is like, you know, you need to get help. And at that point, when you can't do it yourself, I gave in to the will of the world, what God seen fit for me. To you know, to make that move, bro. The man said he sucked the dick. <laughs> <laughs> some some gotta change. I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> you feel me? And I didn't want to go that deep, bro. So you know, man. Do you think, Craig? What would happen if that guy never came in and said he sucked a dick? Like, where do you think you'd be right now? Because it really seems I like it changed your life. A dick. I wouldn't be sucking a dick. No, of course not. I, I, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I think that I still would have excelled from that experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because to be honest with you, there were like 65 men in there. And out of the 65, 60 of them went back to jail. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm in the five. Lance. Yo. What was, tell me just, obviously you and Craig are brothers and, right. you know, you guys have the shop together, Latin Sons Family Hair Care. Yeah. 2400. 2400. Dr. MLK Street <laughs> South in beautiful South St. Petersburg, Florida. And I'll never forget the day I came in there and I was like, obviously, you know, looking for Craig to do my hair. And I feel like Lance was like, he's... He said, like, he went away. This gave me a very vague, like, you know, I think. Are you on vacation? Said, vacation. Uh, yeah. He's away. Gave me something. And I was it's like, going to be some time. It's going to be some. And I was like, what the fuck, you yeah. know, happened? And I, I think I got the story. I think I came in there. I still came in there a few times and obviously got my hair cut. But right. what was that like for the business and, and for the family while Craig was away dealing with that? Oh, uh, It was tough, man. But, man, he had to do what he had to do, you know. You know <laughs> thank God he got the help he got. And, you know, we just. Did the best we could, you know. Of course, the barbershop is quiet as hell without Craig there. Yeah. You know, it's dead. It's like a damn 
library sometimes, but man, we did the best we could, man. You know, absolutely. All right, now I want to ask you guys a question out of nowhere before I get back to some serious stuff. Would any? Would you guys uh, fuck sexy red? Are we guys? Are we cool with sexy red? Who the hell is sexy? Who's the sexy you guys red? don't know sexy red? I man. thought I was gonna relate to. You. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's the. Uh... The, the, I was getting ready to ask you know, which one. Which one? I know what the sexy red is. That's the misled little girl that does the song <laughs> Hands on a Knee. Yes, yeah. No. No, nah. nah, okay. No, nah, that is. She's, she's going to po- knock on your door. She's very popular right now. She's, she's going to knock on your door. No, I ain't fucking. Any that. chick that acts like her, if you put your stuff in her, she's going to find where you live and knock on your door. Yeah. Is that is that bad? You mean like That's you track you like, down? Like even if you're single, what you like. stalking you, stalking you. Even if you're married, like, you know, you're gonna like kind of shit. have to beat her up to let her leave you alone. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. oh, I didn't know, man. You're I, going to jail. Fucking you're going to jail. Her. Fucking with you know, her name is Sexy Fucking Red. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's your lady name? Oh, that's Sexy Red, Grandma. With two X's. Yeah. With two X's. All right, and yeah. you guys are. Right, so I just want. I want. Come on, Seth. I want. <laughs> I just wanted to. I wanted to talk about her. She seems like she's a very you know big name you know right now. What do you guys fucking listen to? You haven't listened to new Kanye. I mean, what's going on? Yeah, well, listen, we listen to everything. You know that, but like sexy red. That's like what new shit do you listen to? I listen to Earth Gang. I listen to Currency. I listen to. Uh, 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 I listen to everybody that's a real rapper to put albums together. Tell me what's tell me what's a real rapper to E-40, you. E forty, Busta Rhymes, okay. Ice Cube, J Cole, J Cole, yeah. Scarface, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Okay, uh, Wale, Wale, Jay Z, Jay Z. Okay, you know real rappers. Doctor Dre came out and said that Eminem is the best rapper of all time. Are, are we agree? Can we say that? Can Doctor Dre say? Doctor Dre can say that, but what can white people well, say that? Of course he's gonna push him, man. But nah, I not mean, at all. You, he can't get the goat. You can't be the goat. Of something that's not your culture. <sighs> it, didn't, it didn't originate there. I'm sorry. All right. He's up there, though, man. He, he's, dead. he's an honorable mention. I'm gonna man. be I'm gonna be honest with you. He is a motherfucker on the lyrics. Top but five? Definitely top five. Definitely okay. Top five, yeah. All right. Is definitely it top five? Do you guys roll your eyes when white people say he's the best? <laughs> it depends on no. what kind of white person. All right, no, because well, I mean, you gotta also no, just we be ro- real about it. It's kind of expected, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, we roll eyes when a like, black guy says. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that is the, that's the good. That's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> Seth, are you happy that we're finally? In the studio? Yeah, I just, I mean, I we've been I, we've been talking about doing this for like a couple years now. Are you going to play ever the old barbershop episodes? Probably. Like, blow up? Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably, we got to play some of those. Probably once this podcast starts doing well, I'll put it out there. Yeah. All right, you guys told me, I don't know what the fuck I was asking you guys about, but you guys both told me, that you said you're going to the game on Tuesday, and I go, yeah. what game? You said opening day. I can't yeah. believe it's already opening day, because I thought opening day was like the first week of April, and it's only March 20th. Uh you, but, Craig, aren't you like a big Braves fan? I am the ultimate Braves fan. Ultimate Braves fan. And you still support the Braves, though, right? Oh, shit, man. That blunt getting you? Oh, my God. That's the good week. Wow. Mm. You all right? No. I was going to say, if that's taking Craig that's out, man, Braves. he's very experienced. Hey, listen. Holy shit. You need, you, got, you need a drink or something? We got some water in the kitchen. I'm chicken. You go, wait, is he's he, chicken nugget. He's fried. Is that okay? Is he is he down for the count, Rio? Because I can't see him at all. So no, he's, he, he he getting it together. Uh, Rio, <laughs> he's getting it together. Holy shit, man! <laughs> all right, he has great medication. Right. You guys are going to the game on Tuesday. Yeah. What kind of tickets you got? We got general admission. general admission. That's all that was left. How you feeling about the race this year? I'm feeling like uh, I need to see something more than what we saw last year. Okay. I need to see more consistency. We started off the season fucking with a record. 21 games in a row. 22 games in a row we won. Started off was it? That. I thought it was like, was it 21? Yeah, it was like 21, 22 games Jeez. in a row. Maybe it was 25. I thought it was like 13. No, we started off, it went up to like 20-something. The buzz started when it was uh, 13 games in a row. Okay. And then it went up to 
the 21 games, I want to say the street stopped at like 21, 22 games. I mean, somebody can correct us on the facts. It's I mean, 13. Have, I just looked up. It's 13 in a row. Well, we made it 22, What self. the fuck? Rio's going from fucking 20 to 25 to almost the yeah, half of the season. It. it was 13? <laughs> yeah, it was 13. <laughs> I thought it was like 20. <laughs> no. It was 20 games in a row we had a record for last year. It was something we did, 20 games in a row. Uh, uh, maybe like uh, maybe it was a home winning streak. Maybe it was. I so- don't know. Man. Maybe that was the home winning streak. Maybe it was twenty out of twenty one or we something like a, that. We had like a real. It I was think it was like the beginning 20, of the season. Yeah, the beginning like, of the season. Went Thirteen games. Yeah. yeah. So maybe, like, I mean, maybe it was the home game. Like the uh, hottest start to a season ever, or something yeah, like that. I think that was the thirteen game winning streak. How do how we feel about Wander Franco, guys? Uh, well, I mean, he's he's he got he's, handle his business. Yeah, he's our Kelly. Well, he's got a what? How? <laughs> he I, got business. To, he, he got, got business. To take Do you guys know the the details on that? No, we no. don't really care because he's R. Kelly. Okay. Plus, they said that uh, he was fucking with some little young ass girl in the Dominican Republic. Republic. I mean, you know, they got whole different ways of going about things now. Rio, he cut a deal with the uh, with the fourteen year old's mom. So what's the problem? I'm, what? What do you? What? He's he's older. Than, he's like twenty four or something okay, like that. Okay. So the mother. Cut a deal. Cut a deal. Yes. With him. with her daughter. Yes. Did the daughter know about this? No. Man, how you the know daughter didn't, didn't know about this? Well, the off, daughter, I mean, the first how? Off, self, self, let's, self, Let's self, be self. real. <laughs> we not in, uh, that, that shit is in the Dominican Republic. That ain't here. That's that not ain't here. ain't no American laws. They fucking 12-year-olds down there. They get married and all. <laughs> By the time they Jesus. 14, yeah, what they, is they the law down there? Let go and clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lat, I mean, they're signing off on this like they're acting like this isn't fucking like weird. It's facts. Man, it's it's not I don't weird. know, man. It's Pedoph- only weird pedophilia in might run rapid only, down there, man. It's only know. pedophilia in America. But what I, is the law down there? I, I don't know, but he's he was in America when he was communicating with her. And but once again, did the girl? I, this is just though. what I want to know. He's are you not, Law and Order? Or what are you? Are you? What's going on here? I want to find I, out what lane we're I, going down. I'm just to be honest with you. Have you been down there? Uh, no, I went to the Dominican Republic one time, but it was at Club Med, so I don't. I didn't really get out oh, in the yeah, streets you, too much. You you don't know. But I right, so, like I know that they're I know that they're oh, sorry I'm just going to do well, but I know it's like it, people are are poor down there and no, that, I don't think poor, poor has anything to do with that. <laughs> we have poor people in in in, in St. Pete in, in Saint America. Pete. But in America. I, them motherfuckers down there is po p o. And what tell me po tell me the difference between p o and p o o. They can't afford the other one. I walked right into that one. Yeah. Dirt pole. Yeah, so wait. Dirt pole. So you. So Craig, you're telling me if you're in the Dominican Republic, man, and you were Poe, and you had a you had a 13 year old daughter and a, and a baseball player that has a 188 million dollar contract says, hey, I'll get you a fucking nice car. I'll get you, you know, twenty thousand. Nah, no, I would. I, Come I, on now. I would sell daughter. That's her duty. That I would sell she myself to, to him before I. Do my daughter like? He don't want your old lad. Okay, well, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna point him in the direction of something. If he wants a girl, it's gonna he can get one. It's not gonna be mine. But listen, man, you gotta I, remember they come from a long line of po. Yeah, they so, all I been mean, po. They man, it's cut some cultures sell, sell they sell they throw it all for a couple of cows, man. Of cows. I know. Yeah. I know. I mean, what was the deal? Did the mom get money? The mom got money, and the mom so got. So how did the daughter not know? Well, listen, the daughter got. I guess the well, daughter. Da- was the mom like this? You have to talk to him. <laughs> well, the daughter got. Go now. What happened? You know, is- here's the phone. Here. The I problem know, is, you the know, I is got is his money. He plays for an American <laughs> professional league. I just want to know baseball how. Baseball team with American pesos. He got- um, uh, two hundred million of American money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And from a t- team that never gives out deals good. like that, you yeah, know. Yeah, that well, doesn't he was trying to spread the money, saying that he has a relationship with, with a fourteen-year-old. 14. Yeah. Now, on the outside, that looks terrible. Horrible. But then, when you start peeling back the layers and understand that, for one, this motherfucker is from the Dominican Republic, and the, and the girl is from the Dominican Republic. 
And God damn it, this is how they go about doing things in other countries. Because you know, this is not no passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. This podcast is brought to you by eHarmony, the dating app to find someone you can be yourself with. Why doesn't eHarmony allow copy and paste in first messages? Because you are unique and your conversations should reflect that. eHarmony wants you to find someone who will get you. How are you going to know who gets you if people send you the same generic conversation starters they message everyone else? Conversations that actually help you get to know each other. Imagine that. Get who gets you on eHarmony. Sign up today. Dapping and blackmailing and all kind of stuff. Down it was there, a man. whole fucking family that just got blessed because of this. Yeah. Like, for real. They were finna sell the daughter off to a broken <laughs> <laughs> For some goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, man. All right, so, all right, so. Why, the lottery. Why, <laughs> all right, Wander Franco, we'll see. I don't think he's ever going to play baseball again, and we'll see. The Rays got to get back that money so they can start spending it elsewhere. I don't know what the, what's going on with that, but, Craig, I do appreciate you, uh, you know, breaking that down, peeling back the layers of, you know, setting up arrangements with older men. Wander was married, too. By the way, so don't water was married to a 22 year old. It's not like he was married to some 45 year old woman and needed, you know, a 14 year old. He was but already. When did he start messing with the 22 year old? But again, Seth, to his damn point, okay, you ever been to goddamn the goddamn girl? <laughs> that, part. <laughs> that part. That part. <laughs> All right, you guys are you guys. My man, <laughs> I guarantee you, they fourteen year olds don't look like our fourteen year olds. I understand. What was it? I think Craig told me one time. Where'd you go? You got like a box of rubbers, like of hundred and fifty, and used them all was, in like forty eight hours. Well, it was like eight of us, and we was in the Dominican Republic. And what, how was how big was the box of, of condoms? Punta Gorda. We had uh, the everybody had like a the thirty pack of Magnums that you get from. <laughs> Like Walgreens or Walmart. I don't fuck. No, I don't. You're talking like I know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about Magnums. But the, yeah, he, well, he would never get, probably the, know the, about the a big, Magnum. The big pack. Damn. The pack. You get thirty of them. Yeah. Now. The big box. This ain't the damn the little pack that you get from the corner store. <laughs> yeah. This is $3, this is uh, this is like for the for month. Pack. Yeah. This is like for the month at the house. Oh, yeah. you did a whole month there. No, 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 this is a week worth in we, the DR. Okay. He already was built up. They had already juiced us up on exactly what was going down down. And that's what everybody goes down now for. You know, and these bitches. <laughs> and <it's>, <laughs> b- <laughs> bitches <laughs> everywhere. Bitches <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> everywhere. Man. You I'm think even a bitch would like me? They're aggressive. They would love you, Seth. Really? Yeah. Yes. For my, I, I got to give them money or they just want to fuck? Yeah, you got to well, give them money. money. I got to give them money. And you got to give them some money, but this is the beautiful thing about the money part. It's going to be not a lot. The money, the little bit of money that you do give them. Give them like seven dollars. They're going to act like no, you're Elton be more John. Like, like 40, 40, 50 bucks. 50. Like my and first night I had two of them <laughs> for $60. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, Rio, the whole, the, the, and, the works. And, and they was model bitches. Like, <laughs> every one of these bitches looked like they came out of magazines. <laughs> Man. And we watched all these hoes at a spigot taking their goddamn bath when we was coming in on the bus. <laughs> the same hoes, bitch. They would they they would have transformed. They goddamn. <laughs> Damn. You give him a tip at all, or you just give him the 30 each? Or? Oh, he gave him a tip, all right. Yeah. <laughs> they got a tip. The tip was they got a chance to come. To, a lot. They got a chance to come. El, Res- El Residencia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He was on top of the hill, baby. You guys are fucking. Lance, you don't know anything about this, right? At all. No. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't either, man. You were At nowhere all. around. A couple that. of married no. guys like us, man. We don't know yeah, what the fuck's no. going on. I don't I've I never just know been. the story. 
Guys, isn't there a place in St. Pete you can fuck? Why do you have to go all the way down to the DR? I get it that it's cheap and they're It's not about that. It's about, God damn it, you got a passport for yeah. one, you need one. Yeah. And for two, You're not bitch, I'm tired have... of these hoes around here. Yeah. I want to go and fuck in another country. They call right. them the exotic ones. Yeah, the exotic. Yeah. Bitch, Just I done fucked me some foreign bitches. I went foreign in a land of foreign and fucked some foreign bitches. Now watch this. They what treat I did. you like a superstar. Man. They see these goddamn For $40. gold teeth. And the motherfucker like, Senor Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? I'm looking. I know what that means. They thinking I'm rich. You feel me? And I'm just like, the bitch, she like, you want freaky freaky? <laughs> and I'm like, you damn right I want freaky freaky oh with my. you and her. And, man, we go back to the damn, um, <laughs> we got like this big ass. Six bedroom, six bathroom. A villa, a villa, or something. A villa. A villa. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, we chilling and shit, bro. We got like, bro, it's it's like eight I, of us, and we got everybody's got bitches, bro. I don't even know how we got all them hoes there. We had <laughs> one truck, bro. <laughs> Bitches were there. Like 12? Bitches everywhere, bro. <laughs> I remember, bro. Like, nigga, man, it was crazy. Man, it was bitches. Y'all had everywhere, a pool. Bro. Y'all had a pool? The uh, infinity pool. Damn. Holy yeah. Shit. We was on literally on top of the hill. So y'all looked like so y'all was super rich that the night. pictures and shit, man, we was the men. That Mind night. you, we walk in, we come when we... We um instead of driving, we just walk down the hill. You go down the hill and like the strip right there, the beach like like a little bit further back. Now hit a club everything or a bar or something. We was to basically they main little club. Yeah. Now we get down on the strip. You know everybody's kind of out on the strip, hanging out on the little balconies and shit, and just you yeah, know the tourists yeah. and shit. Kind of just we all coming out. Yeah. And <laughs> mind you, every man it's a whole it's the ratio of men to women as far as the tourists. Yeah. It's a whole lot of men, not a lot of women. Like men with their wives, yeah, 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 yeah. girlfriends. Yeah. No, it's men with their homeboys. So I can't tell you. Should, I shouldn't take my daughter there this no, summer. No, Fuck no, her. don't ever take Fuck her there no. ever. Okay, Fuck no, never. <laughs> take her to Puerto Rico, okay. right next door. <laughs> yeah, don't ever, don't yeah. you ever. Don't ever take. Don't her even there. mention that. Because uh, all you're of gonna the, get a divorce. All the nasty debauchery that you can get yourself into there. You don't want her to have. Why no am I only that. finding out at forty two that you can go to this yeah. other foreign land and just fuck fuck away for forty bucks, man? Listen, so that's nobody why told me that's shit. Why, that's I heard it's why, cheaper in Colombia. Listen, in so that's why that's why Bubba fucks with you the way he does. We're gonna we're gonna help you out. Okay. We're gonna get you together, buddy. We're gonna get you together, bro. Your name is gonna be Seth Money. I hope so. Yeah. There ain't no hoping. All right, I'm ready to man, get to that point. My last night, well, our last like couple days, though. The last two days we had rounded up because we had some other bitches. Like that night, we got rid of them hoes, went back down there, and came back with another set of bitches. These the same girls, they were still all at the spigot, but bathing the night. Well, we don't know if them exactly was the bitches. <laughs> they but all the look alike. Had, I'm just saying, <laughs> bro, it was a bunch of Dominican ass hoes, bitch. And they was young <laughs> bitches, bro, literally out of spigot, bro. And they was all look like they were washing themselves up. Because, you know, we looking like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what the fuck are these bitches doing? And See, they, this is the kind of shit you get at the barber shop. Yeah, this is exactly. This is a conversation. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. When, it was a yeah. Li- when it's a light crowd. Not, you know, not when there's you know, kids in there. No, of course that. not. But Man, see, Seth, I got a yeah. video of one of the bitches. We had a little cookout and shit because we invited some. The, they were some other bitches that could really speak some English. You fed the bitches. Cool. Yeah, and we, has, we invited guess, some other bitches that back, speak English. double back, and we had a little get together, cook out, you know, little thing. Now uh, it was really the fuck them some old, but we was being cool with them too. I got a video of them. You bitches. was like I, the well, one you, bitch looked like Rihanna. I'm leaning like literally, oh, she man. looked like Rihanna, it's, titties and all. Oh, man. I love Rihanna. Oh my she's, god, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you guys about that, like uh, the hottest I know, pop star. There. No, no, I'm just saying, like I don't know, it's Beyonce, I Rihanna. Vicariously. They was all stories. fucking beautiful bitches. <laughs> and then you know what was even more beautiful about it? Tell me. The shit uh, is fucking, I, that was when I realized that Haiti shares the same island with Dominican Republic. I never actually knew that. Did you so, get some Haitian bitches? or They're all over there mixed in and the bitches is just as fine as the uh, <laughs> Dominican bitches. <laughs> and it's all the same. And I learned another little small little caveat into that was 
most Haitians, men and women, speak Spanish. They also speak French, but they also speak Spanish and fluent in it. See, Rio's learning more than just, he's not just going down there and fucking, Rio's learning more and all kinds of shit. All right, something, yeah. I, listen, you guys have been here for a while, you guys were talking to Bubba for 20 minutes, I could tell Craig was like, let's start this, let's start this, let's get out of here. So I got just a few more questions to ask before you guys head on back to St. Pete, before I get the fuck back to St. Pete. Can you guys tell me, you know, this is a, we, we talk politics on the show, I stay out of it because I don't give a fuck. There's a lot, a lot of Donald Trump supporters and stuff that listen. Uh, how do you guys feel about Trump? Maybe, you know, is it the same that you felt, you know, four, eight years ago? Do you feel differently now? How do you feel about everything politically that's going on He's right now? He's going to be our next president. Hands down. Are you guys cool with that? I mean, at the end of the day, I like it. Ain't, it. Yeah. it ain't going to change nothing. It's not going to change nothing. It doesn't it affect us. When Obama got put in office, it, it didn't, didn't change a fucking us. thing for me yeah. as a black man. So It didn't. I mean, real shit. A lot of people was all, you know, so I'm more concerned about we my got a black president. Yeah, you know I was still saying? a fucking yeah. convicted felon. I'm yeah. still a com- I still can't. I still had to co- create my own income, my own job. I still had to do what it takes to overcome being a black man in America. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. So the politics of things really don't fucking come a trickle down to us. Because I'd rather have a president. involved in politics. And how many black people you know really are involved involved in politics? politics? I'd rather have a president just handling business instead of bothering me with lies. At least Trump looked like he finna handle some goddamn business. This goddamn yeah, Biden. Yeah, like whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Biden, Biden don't look like. I got no faith in this yeah, guy, Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? He don't look just, like he finna say he gonna make it up the stairs. He's gonna make it up the stairs. Look at him. Yeah, like, man. He's yeah, gonna like, wake up the bar. God yeah, damn so, it, man. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, they already were saying the bitch got goddamn dementia or something. Just <laughs> sitting in no sense of dementia. Yeah. I don't you know, have no don't... confidence as a citizen of a yeah. country. That like, you can lead this country effectively. This. President Biden, they have 300 hostages, and we don't know what we're going to do. You know what I like about he Trump? He might stroke the fuck out. Trump don't goddamn beat around the bush about nothing. Yeah, Trump's going to say some Trump shit. Trump's going to tell you like an IS is. He told us, God damn it, it's a Chinese flu. <laughs> <laughs> it came from China. He told the black, bl- the black voters, what if you have to lose? What the fuck y'all got to lose, man? Vote for me. <laughs> Vote for me. Vote for me. <laughs> I'm like, the Democrats ain't doing nothing for you. Just come on over. Come on over. Come on over. That shit made sense. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Motherfucker, you right. What the fuck we got to lose, hey, man? Hey, Seth, Seth, I'm going to do something for your co-worker in the morning. Yeah, what you I'm going to spray a little Febreze. Oh, don't! Oh, yeah, you're spraying. All right, don't you spraying Febreze now or later? Yeah, I'm doing it now. I hate Febreze. I hate the way it smells. Okay, well, <laughs> you don't you mess with that man with allergies, man. I'd rather that that we yeah. get ready to leave, but yeah, but okay. yeah, I just wanted her to know. Can, can, and I tried. I I appreciate. Anna will appreciate <laughs> that. I mean, we you know we did have to we did have to use this area. I like that you guys said that politics don't trickle down to you because I I know it's impossible. On this show, people are very much into it, and I try to stay away from it. People think that you know, like I lean left and all this shit, and maybe I do, but ultimately. Like I don't care. Like I don't think that these people do know. You vote? It. What does yes. that have to do with you coming to get a well, you vote Republican? I don't, I don't like this line of questioning, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know what? I don't. Just a question. I, you know, I don't. I don't like to talk about. You know, I think people uh, well, you know. Good. You don't have the answers. Well, you know, I'm just saying. I, think, yeah. I mean, you answer without answers. Is I mean, you guys right? know I'm cool, so you're you know. Right? Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, you're gonna be cool. Can I? Can I tell you something? Um. Um. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Mr. Seth. Yes. Okay. That's Seth money. Seth if money. I was into politics at all, if I had to choose, I would probably be a Republican. Okay. Because I took time to kind of, you know, learn a little bit about politics and where democracy came from and where the whole Democrat thing and where yeah. black people are for Democrats and yes. what Republicans, the core of what their core beliefs are. And I'm more towards the core belief of a Republican than I am of a Democrat. I also was fortunate enough to attend like a Republican party. Like, like a little, was that the like, convention, bro? A, a, a convention. Like, oh, you went to the convention? Oh, went to the convention. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, oh, like a little shit. rally. This is new oh, information. I used to bartend this down is at new the new information for us, Seth. 
He didn't put this on his uh, resume. Yeah, we didn't have no knowledge of this. (laughs) (laughs) You guys didn't know that he was in the RNC? (laughs) We have no knowledge of this. I knew that it was big money. I was bartending. I was there domestic capacity. Okay, okay. okay. And you learned something. But, you know, I paid attention. I was in there listening. And then, really, I got a chance to, because the Hilton hosted a Democrat one and a Republican one. Yes. You got both sides. And I got a chance to got to, to see exactly what this shit is. It sickened me to my fucking stomach, mm. just the way these people are acting. And it's like you people are what we vote for to run this country, and just the slander and just the whole way. It reminded me of student council in middle school, like mm. literally on an adult grown up level with yeah. a lot millions and millions of dollars behind it, but. These are the same people that we the count on pricks. to run the fucking country. Yeah. And dicks and, and other people. The the slander instead they of what y'all are talking about, it sounded like a fucking rally, like a KKK rally. Like that. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're gonna fucking bow it up and we're gonna go over there and kill the other side. When the Demo- the Democrats got in there, you said it was like a like a KKK. It was the same way. It was oh. nothing different. If you closed your oh, eyes, okay. you wouldn't have known if you were in a Democratic or Repub- uh public uh you didn't you wouldn't be able to decipher each one. Okay. You closed your eyes, you'd have knew you would have fought you was just two some wings of the same bird in fucking middle school. You feel me? Absolutely, yeah, Craig. So you're saying you didn't know that uh, that he was leaning this way? Does that change? You know, his standing at the nah, barbershop? Fuck no, because like uh-huh. I said, what does that have to do with you coming down and getting a haircut from some guys that are fucking cool? fucking nothing, man? I'm, I'm oh, guess da- what? Exactly. I'm down there all the time. Yesterday. Which is why politics and um, what you your preference is really don't give. A damn us, you know. Yeah. That's what I, that's the thing, you know. People we don't keep, care. Pe- pe- we, that's the yeah. things a lot of people care. Like when you yeah, know, still fucking as a Seth money. You, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, matter either, what, yeah, that don't matter. That's you what know we're what I'm saying. saying. Guess what, Seth? After yesterday afternoon, after you, we were on the podcast, a guy rolled up and said he just had to come down and meet us and make an appointment. Shut up from the show. Yeah. From the show, really? Yeah. What white guy? Spanish. Okay, that's cool. What was it? Okay, all right, that's cool. Yeah. All right, I like that. Spanish. I, I was we, we cut white people too. I know. Yeah, I cut, saw. I cut hair. <laughs> I was disappointed on Saturday when I was in. I saw there was two white people in there at the same time I was, and I have never seen another white person in there in my life. Well, so I mean, well, the neighborhood is changing. <laughs> <laughs> it is because we cut hair. Yeah, but you don't have scissors though, do you, Craig? Yes, we yeah. cut hair. Why not master you, barbers. The proper vernacular for those are shears. shears. She, uh, shears. But Craig, you used to not have shears because you know you used to. I was more hoodish. Yes, but now you are that's changing because he with was the buying times. the twenty five dollar scissors. <laughs> when you spend one hundred and fifty dollars or more, they're shears. You got yeah. one hundred and fifty dollars shears, Rio? Yes, sir. He, he shears with both hands, like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, yeah, they are two fifty. Two fifty. Oh shit! And you guys got that spray hair too, right? Yeah, people still the spray you can get enhancements. <laughs> enhancements. Yeah, well, tell. I mean, sprinkle like, hair. Just tell people what it is, real quick. You guys put it on me one day or something. In you guys, can, Hollywood. Yeah, you guys can do a a, a hairline, right? Yeah, right. Uh, if you got like a special event or something like that, you want yeah, a hairline I mean, for a know, night? You know, if yeah. you want to enhance it for pictures. the evening, you get know, your hot towel treatment, steam. You know. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Hot lather machine, you know. All right, listen. I appreciate you guys coming on. Anything else you guys want to say at the end of this first episode today? I don't know what the hell we talked about. Uh, I got to get out of this room. It's just, I'm I'm, in, I'm just so high from. You got a uh, contact, bro. Yeah, I'm so Ain't high. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Chicken nugget over here. You got, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm you, hungry I'm as fucking, a hostage. I'm hungry as a hostage. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Hey, one love, man. All we'll right, see you next man. week, man. Same peace, time, same peace, bad time. Peace. Latin Sons. Latin Sons. One love. This is what's up. Hey, man. All right. That's that crazy. a lot of fun, man. Oh, man. There you go. People, they get paid to do that? That's right, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man.